Hi, this is Wanda from Lil Rose Artworks. Thanks for joining me today. Have you ever had an idea and you thought, I'm gonna try that and it's gonna work and then like disaster? Okay, that's this project. It's not that it didn't work. It's more like, okay, why? Anyway, Come on down to my carved out cold little corner of creativity in the basement. Just watch or follow right along or figure out your own plan because this one So we're going to start our project. Our project is going to be a base, uh, kind of a take on fused glass and uh, you saw the image at the beginning. This is, I'm going to cover this with some starfish resin just to make a almost fused glass looking base. I printed this off of the internet and I just went to images and this is a starfish and it's about three inches or two and a half inches. I'm going to need 12 of them. I'm just going to be tracing the outside to create a mold to pour with resin, uh, filling that with the different colors. So that's what I'm working on now. As I said, I'm gonna do about 12 of them. I think I decided four went around the base with a little bit of overlap and then times three going up. I might do a little bit more just in case I have some that don't quite turn out. I have my hot glue gun, I have my silicone mats, I have my image that I'm tracing. So if you cannot draw, don't worry about it. You can always just trace your image. That's okay. There are no art police here. We're just going to trace on the outside again your well just has to be deep enough to hold your resin in. At this point, I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna do two rounds or just one. Now at this point, all my stars have been made. I made about 12, 15 of them actually. And it's time to resin. Mixing up my resin. It is a one-to-one -one resin that I'm using. It is Naked Fusion Diamond Clarity. And all, this, all the items used will be in the description box. I've got five colors and 15 stars. I went a little bit more than I probably needed. I think I calculated that I only needed 12, but that's okay, because you never know what's not gonna turn out. And all I'm doing is pouring. And we're back and it hasn't been 24 hours it's been more likely 15 hours and these are flexible but they're not set enough for me to just well I can because I have pulled um, pull the hot glue away so you can pull it away but it's a lot of tedious work so what I'm going to do instead is I am just going to cut away the hot glue. And you can easily cut through the resin, okay? but I want this resin to be semi-soft because I'm going to want it to be flexible. So I don't want to wait until that is so hard that I'm going to need to um, beat it up because what I'm going to do is mold these pieces around this glass vase overlapping them, molding them, and making them into just a really kind of maybe neat base. So I don't want to wait until they are firm enough. That's gonna require me more work <clears throat> to mold them. So I'm going to trim all these uh, starfish up. So go ahead and trim them up. So you have three options on how to get the glue away. You can use your little scissors, you can use a straight edge uh, blade which will give you a cleaner cut, or you can just tear it away. 
Wearing gloves will prevent leaving fingerprints. So all my starfish are cut out, and I am just getting ready, or I just started applying them to this, this glass. And this is the first one, but I did want to show you what I was doing. So I'm taking my starfish. Now let me tell you that it did work out better. If I could tear away the glue, then I tore it away and it worked much better. I like the look a lot better than um, cutting it away. And, but on, at certain times I had to cut it away. And where needed, I would trim a little bit away as well. So I've got my star satisfactory the way I wanted them. And I am now using super glue to adhere these. And my advice to you, turn your stars over so that the more dull side, mat, and if you used a shiny mat, then they'll be shiny on both sides. Uh, my silicone mat was not shiny. So one side is a little bit more dull than the other. Turn them over so that you have the dull side up. You're going to apply your super glue to the back of my starfish, covering all the parts of it, all of the arms of the starfish. And make sure you hold it down, making sure that all your parts touch. All right, back to our piece. So um, if you happen to get a little bit of the super glue on your glass like it it splooshes around have some acetone and some q-tips uh, make sure you follow all the safety rules for the acetone make sure you're in a well ventilated place and you can clean up the super glue think about putting my next piece on I'll just figure i don't really have a plan just like i'm didn't know if this was going to work and I'm not absolutely sure how I'm going to finish it up, but I'm going to keep plugging away because it's an experiment and we'll keep moving. In my ultimate wisdom, I felt that there were more stars needed, so I made more. I used the same process as before, but I did use some different colors because I wanted them more vibrant. I let them set a little bit longer so they got a little bit more firm. As you can tell, I used a little bit of different colors. I wanted to add some more vibrancy. If your resin pieces have set up a little bit more than you would like, some of these are a little bit more firm like that one, something that you can do is warm them up with a heat gun. There you go. So if you were having some difficulty, feel free to do that. And what I'm going to do is the same thing that I did yesterday, is I'm going to start placing uh, some of my starfish on my vase with my super glue. As you can see, I have decided to go up around the edge of my vase, trying to give it just a little bit of a um, shape up here. And I want to tip that back just a touch. I probably should not have put my super glue on this piece, but it's all right. Continue applying our starfish. 